Okay, looks like we are live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I wanted to shoot this video um, mostly because I've realized that there's so many distractions, and even I myself get caught up in, in you know, spending time needlessly doing things that aren't actually taking me forward in life. And, um, and I started to realize, like, you know, in, in life, after speaking with so many people that everybody gets into these places in life where they feel a little bit stuck, like stuck in a rut. And if you've ever felt like you're stuck in a rut, like you're um, wanting more in life, you want to have a more successful business, you want to get more leads, you want to be able to make more sales, you want to start that online course or start a coaching program or, or you want to do something different um, and you're not there yet, uh, the question is what are you doing with your time and how is what you're doing right now compounding over time? right? Because everything in life is always compounding, right? It, you're either getting better results or worse results, but I don't believe that anything ever actually stays the same. And the reason nothing ever stays the same is, well, that's the only thing that ever actually stays the same is that nothing stays the same. Everything's always changing. So you're either growing or you're shrinking in life. And as we get older, it can be more and more challenging to uh, switch the path that we're on and start getting better results. So what I want to talk about today is, you know, the power of the compounding effect and really do a deep dive on how you're spending your time and, and the ways that you're spending your time that are either benefiting you or costing you in the long run. All right. So um, first, I just want to see how many people are on here. What's up? Um, I am on couple different platforms right now, but uh, that's cool. I'll just wait for some comments to roll in. If you guys want, go ahead, shoot a comment. Let me know where you're from uh, before we dive into this. So uh, we're just going to dive in. So the question is, are you where you want to be in your life right now? And if you're not, then what do you got to do to get to where you want to go, right? And the reality is that there's unlimited amounts of information and knowledge that you have access to on the internet. And there's also unlimited amounts of distractions and time wasters, etc. You know, for example, I would just say like social media platforms like uh, TikTok or the reels and all that kind of stuff. It's easy to get stuck in a loop where you're just watching endless videos and flipping through the next reel or the next TikTok video or Instagram, whatever, or looking at people's stories. But is any of that actually adding value to your life? It's easy to get caught up watching the news or social media, YouTube, whatever. All these different distractions out there, they're not actually adding to your life. But think about this. Um, what have you been doing for the last six months? Where has the majority of your time gone? And I'm not talking about the time that you're spending working because you got to work. I'm not talking about the quality time that you're spending with your friends and family. I'm talking about all the in-between time, right? So on average, I think uh, people spend something around three to four hours a day mindlessly on social media, not actually doing anything, not actually learning anything, uh, not actually accomplishing anything and not actually do, uh, learning anything that's useful. They're just basically wasting that time, right? Now, think about this. If you want to become a specialist in anything, maybe it's online marketing, maybe it's affiliate marketing, maybe you want to build an e-com store, maybe you want to uh, do some direct sales or you want to have success in a network marketing something or other, um, maybe you want to start a more spiritual practice, whatever. All of that time is accounted for. Where have you put it? That extra one to four hours a day on average that you've been spending on social media. What have you actually been doing? So it's it's kind of like the modern addiction is all of the social media stuff. And it's gear. I mean, it's not like it's your fault. So like when I hear coaches and mentors sit there and start yelling at people for spending too much time on social media, it's like it's not really their fault because it's designed to be addictive. It's designed to give you dopamine hits and, 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 and kicks, right? It's literally just designed to keep your face in your phone and looking at social media all day long, but it's not getting you anywhere. What if you spent that hour a day, two hours, three, four hours a day, actually studying something that was beneficial, that was going to take you towards your goals and dreams? What YouTube channels can you be watching that's going to help you um, learn how to market, learn how to sell. That's going to teach you how to become an influencer. That's going to show you how to create a YouTube channel or an Instagram following. What kind of 
um, books can you be studying or reading right now that's going to teach you how to manage your money better, how to have a better mindset, how to network, how to start a business, right? Like, it, it's not just learning, it's applying what you learn. So here's the key to applying what you learn, and it's really, really simple. Do you have anyone mentoring or coaching you? Do you have anyone who knows more than you in any type of thing that's pouring into you? You need someone or people who are pouring into you. You need coaches, mentors, or courses and programs that you're plugged into where you're able to tap into people who are more successful, okay? That's going to help you learn better information and also learn more relevant information because if you don't know what you need to know in order to get what you want to get, then it's better to have someone who's already got what you want show you or at least give you some references on where and what type of information you need to start learning so that you can get those results. Does that make sense? I hope so. So, so the next is you need a peer group. You need to have people that are like-minded, that are similar in their passions, who you can connect to in community. So you can talk about the things that you're learning. If you don't have peers like that, um, start looking around in the different Facebook groups and and see if you can have or find an accountability partner, someone who is already kind of going down a similar or parallel path where you can sort of exchange ideas and information to keep it sealed into your mind so that it's more useful for you. And then the third component is you need someone or people that you're mentoring or teaching, someone that you're teaching the things that you're learning, right? And then the last part is actually really important is applying what you learn. So if you're taking notes, that's great. If you're learning how to build a website or do some funnels or make videos, great, fantastic. Start making the videos, start creating the funnels, start doing the work, right? So when you have people pouring into you, people you're exchanging ideas with, people that you're teaching and mentoring, you're really positioning yourself to become a very powerful doer, action taker, teacher, mentor, coach as, as yourself, right? It's so much easier because what happens is you're aligning all of your conversations and your energy and integrity with what it is that you're trying to accomplish. So it's really important to stay focused on that. Like you need to make sure you've got people pouring in, people you're exchanging ideas with, your peers, people you're pouring into, and the most importantly, taking action. And take action every single day because it's easy to like, for example, say that you're committed to going to the gym and then you just don't go to the gym for like a, a couple of weeks and you kind of let that slip and fall. Same thing with a business partner, accountability buddy, or, or starting a new business or something. It's easy to just let that slip and fall. So you want to be able to be consistent. So like, what does your schedule look like? And are you using a calendar, right? So <clears throat> if you want to have success, an empty cal calendar is your worst enemy. You want to make sure that your calendar is filled. And if you don't have meetings, then set times to do stuff. And if, if you're not a calendar person, it can take a little bit of time to get used to using a calendar. But I'm telling you, it's super powerful to have a calendar that is, oh, it's time for me to read. Oh, it's time for me to make music. Oh, it's time for me to do some art. Oh, it's time for me to get on social media and do my organic marketing. Oh, it's time for me to do this. Oh, it's time for me to do that. It's time for me to go to the gym, etc. Time for me to go for my jog. Set your routine into your calendar and develop a habit to get into your calendar. Instead of looking at your emails, instead of looking at all of your uh, things first thing in the morning, take more time in the morning, do some meditation, do some breath work, do some exercise, have your morning to yourself, have some selfish self time, you need it. And then get into your calendar first and really look at what you need to do that day and look at the things that you want to accomplish, set some goals right? So daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, write down all of the things that you want to accomplish or create or do or go to, write them all down and start checking those goals off. Another really important thing that's been helping me a lot is a gratitude journal. Now I have a iPad and I'll show you this. I got this really cool app. It's called Notability. I love Notability. It's great. And I have a, um, there's all these templates and it just, it's a gratitude journal, okay? And um, if you don't like writing on an iPad, you can actually order on Amazon. Like they have these uh, screen protectors for iPads that are awesome. They, uh, it makes it feel like, like a piece of paper when you're writing on it with a, with a Apple pen. It's been, I love it. You even get that nice little, you know, sound that you do from a normal pencil. 
So, um, you know, writing out like, you know, every day what you're excited for every day, uh, write out what you're excited for in that season, if it's summer or if it's fall or if it's winter or spring, then write out 10 things you're grateful for and then write a paragraph or two about things that you're grateful for. That way you're starting your day off in gratitude and these little tiny things that you start doing, checking it off your list, starts adding up to you feeling a sense of accomplishment and that increases your energy overall. And over time, what happens is you're going to have a much higher vibration. And when you're operating from a better sense of feeling of well-being, when you're operating from a um, you know higher level of vibration, higher level of energy, your mind just thinks about things differently in a higher level. So, you know, the, the thinking that got you where you are, if you're not happy with the results that you've got in your life, is not the same level of thinking that's going to be able to get you to a higher place. So in order to get to a higher place, you got to get to a higher level of thinking and a higher level of vibration. And a key component to getting into a higher level of vibration is by doing little daily things that compound over time towards awesome results. It's really, really beautiful. It's a very powerful thing. And it's been working for me like a hot dang, all right? I got a million things to do and a million things not to do. I mean, what keeps me on track towards my goals and dreams is being accountable and having a set uh, calendar, having a schedule, having a routine. And I'm not owned by the routine. You know, it's, it's a guide. The routine is a guide. Some days I don't wake up as early as others. Some days I, I need more sleep. Um, if I, if I, some days I'll work out, sometimes I got to listen to my body and I'm not going to go work out. Um, you know, some days I'm going to focus on content creation and other days I'm not going to because, you know, I'm just maybe not feeling it, you know, in order to get into content creation all the time. Um, it takes me a little bit of time to, you know, just develop a better habit in my uh, better routine in my life so that I can start to get to a higher level of energy. And then I just feel like it's just easier. You know what I mean? Getting things set up to be more productive. So, so just a couple little things guys that you can be start doing, but also add up how much time you're spending, wasting time, scrolling and trolling on social media, TikTok, Instagram reels, all that stuff, because you're just crushing your life when you're doing that. Now I'm no better. I've actually, uh, found myself getting caught up like you know i watch some reels and sometimes in the morning and the next thing you know it's like five minutes later i'm like oh like i was watching some funny things and you know it's like people spend so much time making these ridiculously goofy videos and then i end up watching them and then it's like well what did i do like what did i i, I got nothing accomplished over the last like five minutes sometimes like and so also this video is also a reminder for me it's like hey that doesn't compound in a good direction um, you know, maybe you're going to find a golden nugget of some useful idea on a reel or some sort of, you know, TikTok thing once every like 200 videos. So stop looking there. That's not where you're going to go and find the gems. You're going to find the gems by developing a proper daily routine and ritual. So this is a great reminder for you. Just be very accountable for your time because if you're not where you want to be, then just imagine where you could be in three or four or five years. If instead of wasting your time watching reels and doing things like spending too much time on social media, just scrolling and trolling and looking at other people's posts. If instead you dedicate that time to reading, to watching videos that are teaching you new things, to getting mentors and coaches to pour into you, to sharing ideas and concepts with your peers and to pouring into people who you're mentoring or coaching and also applying yourself. Like you'd be surprised what you can get done in an hour. You'd be surprised what you can get done in four. I mean, you can get so much done. I mean, I sit there in the last week, I've been sitting here building a online um, course, right? It's called Organic Marketing Mastery. And I've been just basically creating a ton of uh, really, really amazing videos in this course, teaching people the step-by-step -step things that I've done over the years to generate multiple six figures and help a lot of people reach the six figure line all through organic marketing without spending a single dollar on ads. I've, I've had tons and tons and tons of success stories and testimonials, et cetera. So, you know, instead of sitting around and scrolling and trolling and doing nothing with my time, I've been spending like five to eight or 10 hours a day just figuring out how to build this course. I, I don't have a tech team. So I've got some software and I've had to learn how to use the software and start putting the videos and crafting the videos. And the thing is because it's me making the content, there's no one else I can outsource except for me. So I got to just do it. 
That means I got to have a guide. I got to have a structure. I got to have a skeleton. I got to have a blueprint. You know, I got to do the work. I got to make the videos. I got to edit the videos, all that stuff. And that's basically time that I'm spending working on my business or in it, I guess, and I'm building it. And then I'm going to spend, uh, I put that on the shelf after a certain amount of time. And then I go into income generating activities where I'm creating some content and reaching on connecting to leads that are in my funnel and seeing where they are in the process and seeing what I can do to answer any questions that they might have to move them closer towards buying. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, and then I also have a set time every day where I'm playing music and maybe it's not a set time, but you know, I want to practice music for an hour or two every day because as a musician, I got to keep on that. So, you know, there's, there's just, using your time wisely. And right now, so many more people are, they have a lot more time, right? I, I mean, people are working from home more often than not nowadays. And they're finding that they don't need to put in like eight hours a day. So what are you doing with all that extra time? And most people are not spending that time very wisely. And all I'm saying is that you can get so much more and so much further in life if you spend all of that time wisely. Just really be accountable for it and understand that everything compounds. And the compounding effect can go against you right? It can go against you. It's not always for you because when you're doing things that are not taking you towards your goals and dreams, the compounding effect is working against you, right? And the older you get, the tougher it can be to turn around. And so if you're under 40, like, oh my gosh, if I could go tell Shane at like uh, 20 years old, you know, I, I, I'd i make a whole video series of the things I would tell younger Shane so that he could, you know, have hit all of his goals and dreams so much earlier uh, instead of uh, more in like the, the the 40s, you know what I mean? So um, with that being said, guys, like I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you got some value from this. Feel free to uh, share. What's up, Brandon? Thanks for the shout out, bro. And um, stay tuned, guys. And if you want to get access to this Organic Marketing Mastery um, course that I've been creating, just type OMM, O-M-M, uh, in the chat and I will get you on the list to get free access to this course. Uh, I'm going to have it as a monthly membership and there's going to be a private Facebook group as well. We're going to have like weekly Zooms and, and mentoring and coaching for people who are wanting to work on their organic marketing. We're going to be talking about Facebook. We're going to be talking about Instagram and also TikTok. Yeah. Um, so, and we're going to go over a lot of things like video creation, live streaming. We're going to be talking about like how to position yourself as a figure of authority. We're going to be going over a lot of things, um, in this, uh, in this community that I'm going to start building very soon here. So if you want to get first access to that type OMM in the chat and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next videos. Take care.